that you're a teacher. All of us today, the example of Jesus as a teacher means something for all of us as a church. It means that today in 2011, we as a church have a duty to be pro-education, to be pro-learning, and to make an impact on students. As you came in today, you probably got a card that said this, upcoming opportunities at Chansey Elementary School. Less than three miles from Northeast Campus, Chansey Elementary School is on Murphy Lane between Brownsboro Road and Westport Road. Some of you are here today and you probably have students at Chansey Elementary. We feel really strongly like God has led us to develop a partnership with Chansey and so we've adopted Chansey. That doesn't mean that we're taking the school over and that doesn't mean that Chansey is our pet project. What it does mean though is that over the past few months we've been having some specific conversations with Chansey and their leaders about what they wanna do as a school, what their goals are, what their mission is, and how we can come alongside and help them. And so we've kinda of put together some opportunities to kinda of come alongside Chansey and help them. Uh, what we're gonna do in just a moment, we're gonna watch a video together that kinda of introduces you to Chansey. And while you're watching this video, if there's something you see on this sheet that strikes you as an interest you have, or something you'd like to get involved in, I'm gonna ask you to fill that out while we're watching this video. Let's go ahead and watch this video about Chansey. Hi, I'm Rhonda Cosby, I'm the principal of Chansey Elementary School. And we have over 750 students here from all walks of life, kindergarten through fifth grade, as well as um, preschool and Head Start classes. We um, serve from many different zip codes, many different socioeconomic backgrounds, ethnicities. We carry the most prized possession that people own, and that is their children, and that is an awesome, awesome responsibility. Our children face obstacles that sometimes are unspeakable but they're still vertical and they still come wanting our attention and our love every day. And we give all that we can give every day. Some of our students come with a lot of baggage and a lot of suitcases behind them, um, things that they cannot control. It's, it's hard for a kid whose stomach is growling or who didn't get enough sleep or who's worried whether or not their parents are gonna come home at night to be able to come to school and learn about adjectives and verbs and ABCs. You know, you can, you can play the blame game, but the bottom line is they come in with a lot of environmental baggage and they bear the weight of the world on their shoulders sometimes. They have to be the parents at home, not only taking care of their siblings, but taking care of their parents because their parents have made some, some poor choices. As educators and as servants, because this is a, definitely a service position, working in a school is definitely you are giving of yourself because you're working with the human element. It takes a lot out of you emotionally um, because you invest so much emotionally to get the job done. And so it is, it is wonderful that you all have reached out to us because we don't have enough adults to go around. Teachers are teaching, but they're also, you know, they're the counselor, they're the, the pastor, they're the psychologist, they're the mom, the dad, they're the everything for the kid. And having that extra adult in the classroom, especially in those primary grades, would be fantastic. Because some of my friends need a little bit more redirection than others who need that adult in their life that could bring them hope and know that there is a light at the end of their tunnel. Um, of the cycle of life that they're currently in, that somebody can inspire them to want to get their education, which I always say is, is their meal ticket out of whatever tragedies or trauma or obstacles that they have in their life. And a lot of elementary schools um, have mainly female um, teachers. So that male um, role model in the building, in our building, is our daytime custodian, Mr. Murphy and kids gravitate towards him or are excited just when he says good morning to them. Um, and that's a relationship piece that we don't have here. So we are in desperate need of male mentors, um, just a presence in the building, um, someone to shoot basketball with or um, someone just, just to talk to. And our, our, our students need it and they crave it. Several neighborhoods surround Chansey. Um, so on the weekends, and after school, as soon as school gets out, you see families bringing their wagons and on their bikes, and they come play on our Chansey Playground. Um, adjacent to the Chansey Playground is um, a grassy slash muddy area we would really like to um, see become a walking track with fitness stations. We know that our kiddos at the elementary age need to get 60 minutes of physical activity 
every day, not most days, but every day. Um, unfortunately, a lot of our kids' time is dominated by TV and video games. So we hope that if we have a walking trail, we, it's, it's a place for them to go, a safe place for them to go to get off that sofa. One of our teachers has been very passionate about gardening and um, eating healthy. We've always talked about, we need a garden here, we need a garden here, um, which is a huge initiative because you just don't throw a garden together. And so having a type of community garden where they would be working towards a purpose of creating something that not only were their hands building and were digging in the dirt and were producing something that they could eat and share with others and they knew that that purpose was bigger than themselves, I think it would really benefit them. Ownership, citizenship, um, hands-on learning, um, just being kids, playing around and digging in the dirt, but with a purpose. That's our goal, is to make sure that they're safe, secure, and they feel like they belong. And that is a challenge because Academics aren't even on the radar. Um, it's that heart piece. And the thing is, is that parents entrust us with that heart piece. But sometimes the heart is empty. And until you fill that bucket or until you fill that heart piece up, learning will not take place. And you can be the most phenomenal teacher in the world. You can do backflips and jump up and down. But if I'm not emotionally healthy, or if I'm tired or if I'm hungry or if I know that my clothes are disheveled or I'm unclean, I'm not learning. Um, so you have to meet the needs of the, the heart first. As we've gotten to know Chansey, one of the things that we've loved is their mission statement is to be a caring community of high achievers. You know, that's our hope and that's our goal that in this partnership, we can do everything we can to make that statement true for every child at Chansey. Because you never know, the next Isaac Newton and the next George Washington Carver could be a student at Chansey Elementary right now. And we wanna care for that student, and we wanna care for that family. So uh, on that Chansey card, if there's something that has kind of struck an accord with you and you wanna get involved with that, make sure that you turn that card in and we'll get in contact with you when that project starts. If you wanna take that home and think about it and pray about it, you're welcome to do that too. If you came in today and you didn't get a Chansey card, you can get one on the way out. Before we do anything else today, let's close in prayer. Uh, Father, we thank you for this day. And Father, right now, we just pray a blessing on Chansey Elementary. Father, we pray uh, for, the, for, the, for the parents, we pray for the students, we pray for the teachers, we pray for the administrators. We even pray for Mr. Murphy. God, we just pray uh, that you would bless this partnership.